Okay, um, what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, factor by grouping. So when you have something like this, um, <laughs> this is gonna get pretty confusing because what you notice is we have a lot of different variables. Um, <clears throat> we have X and we have Y. And so what I'm gonna do is when I'm factor by grouping, what we want to do is we have this right now in four terms. And we have four different terms. We have 5XY, negative 15X, negative 6Y, and a positive 18. So remember, when we're factoring, you always want to find you know, what is the common denominator. Well, all of these do not share anything, right? These two share a 5, uh, meaning I can divide a 5 into both of these. These two do not share a 5, though. So I can't divide a 5 into these. Therefore, I can't take a 5 out. Same thing with my uh, variables. All the, these two share an x, but these two do not. Um, these two share a y, but these two do not. So I'm coming up with a pretty difficult problem here, and in, I really don't know, you know, I can't take anything else out. So there is one method. Whenever you see four different terms, always look to see if you can factor by grouping. And here's how we're gonna factor by grouping. So to factor by grouping, what you can do is I'm gonna I have these prop points rearranged range like this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to arrange the first two terms and the last two terms. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at these separately and see can I factor each one of these separately. And what you say is well out of 5xy minus 15x, they both share a 5 and they both share an x. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna factor out a 5x. And what you'll see is I obtain a uh, 5x equals a y minus 3. Because, and then double check your work. Does 5x times y give you 5xy? Yes. Does 5x times negative 3 give you negative 15 uh, x? Yes. Then let's see what we can factor out here. Now, a lot of you might say, well, we can factor out a 6, right? But we don't want to get us a negative y, all right? We always want to keep our variables positive. And also, if you look at this, I want to get to this, I want to factor this out so it looks like this. So since I have a positive y here, I'm going to want to factor out a 6 where that's going to be a positive y as well. So what I mean by that is I'm going to want to factor out a negative 6. When I factor out a negative 6, I get y minus 3. And the reason why it's so important, I want these to be the same. And the reason why I want these to be the same is now what I can do is I can factor these two out. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor these two out, meaning since 5x is multiplied by this and negative 6 is multiplied by this, if I divide them out, all right, what I'm left with is you could say y minus 3, I factored it out, and times what's left over, 5x minus 6. And what I mean by, if you guys remember the distributive property, all I did was I just undid distributive property, right? If I was to do distributive property, I'd multiply the y minus 3 times 5x, which would give you this, and the y minus 3 times negative 6, which would give you this. So that's how I all I did was I just factored it out. Well, when factor my grouping, that would be your end result.